at the fight night, Redline fight night at the ABA Stadium in Auckland, New Zealand. The 11th of November, we had an absolutely star-studded action-packed fight card tonight. And we are now ready for bout number six here on the cards. Isaac Savage commentating with the champ NZ PBA welterweight champion, Mr. Business, Shay Brock who will be joining us very shortly. Here he is, joining me now, the NZ PBA welterweight champ, Shay, Mr. Business Brock, welcome. Oh, thanks, Isaac. Always good to be here um, alongside you, commentating these awesome lads of fights. Going for a cracker tonight. I've done a bit of work with uh, Dylan, so um, he's, he's definitely got hands. Dylan there in the blue, looking sharp. He's trimmed to the nines, he's boxed out, clean shaven, and Tom in the red corner, looking ready to go. T-Rex, as they say, he's an absolute monster, and he throws down hard. Dylan Archer, though, you've done a bit of sparring with him, goes all right. His uh, partner fought earlier, Brody Matangi, so fighting family. This is Tonga White. Tonga, T-Rex White, only fought about three to four weeks ago. Caught up with him after the fight, and he was still going. He's an absolute animal monster, cut to shreds. But hey, muscles don't always mean anything in this game, do they, Shay? I don't think they mean much, really. Do they? Oh, I don't have many. Wow, you got a six-pack, mate. You still do okay, and at least two of them, anyway. As they say, sun's out, gun's out. It's getting warm here in Auckland. The ABA is certainly warming up. And we have got a super middleweight contest here for bout number seven. Tonga T-Rex in all in black with the singlet. And Dylan Archer in the black shorts, no Ooh. singlet. Already, boys, are, what is it with tonight? These boys are throwing out. Talk about an absolute war for starting off in the first, what, 30 seconds? Both boys coming out strong, now just filling each other out. <laughs> both boys shredded to the nines, looking deadly, coming forward. They've both got the similar style, Shay, so what do you think? It's a brawl to your full consequence? It looks like they're just going to wait for their chance and once once it hits it's, it's Goku and Vegeta and you know they're just going to they're just going to let hands go when they're inside. I like that analogy and you're 100% right. You know, we've seen a few styles here tonight clash, but these two have got the same exact style. Walk forward, bang bang, overhand rights. T-Rex throws a few jabs there in the singlet. Ooh, good a bit of a body shot there landed by Dylan as well. Yeah, um, T-Rex the longer of the two, longer of the two, and he's like he's starting to use his range as well. T-Rex trying to find the jab, but Dylan moving out of it. You've done a bit of work for Dylan, oh sorry, with Dylan, and he is pretty sharp. He's obviously a bit heavier than you. Mm. Beautiful angle in his shot right there. T-Rex looking a little worse for wear for that little moment, and then he just comes straight back. Just when you think one guy's up, the next one comes back. This is and it's just such been a tight contest. It's just been a night like that, isn't it, um, Isaac? In our previous fights, we've seen the exact same thing, tit for tat. Bang! You saw that right over there from T Rex. Left again. Dylan bobbing and weaving, keeping out of range. This is an absolute slugfest, toe to toe. 
good round to open us up with as well. You know, he's got us uh, giving a bit to look at. Fernando in the corner there, giving a bit of wisdom, fighting out of central boxing. Tonga T Rex there, having a seat, getting a, a few words from Kiri, who you've done a bit of work with, and Vasco, head trainer at Redline. That looks like Ari's back in the changing room. She must be getting ready for her big fight. She was in there earlier um, helping prep the fighters. Now she's in the back prepping herself, uh, I'd assume, for her big fight coming up in the main event. She came out earlier with some of the fighters, but she can't do that now. Obviously getting warmed up for her own fight. 3-0. I'm really she's looking forward to her fight as well. This is just one of those nights where everyone is on the edge of their seats, every single fight shape. This is round two. And it feels like it's uh, all a bit of a blur with so much action tonight. Couldn't have said it better myself, Isaac. You know, these guys, when they meet, they let their hands go. They are certainly letting their hands go. Both fighters swinging strong. for the walls. T-Rex in the singlet. Dylan Archer with the sparkles and topless. He's certainly coming forward and trying to knock the head off T-Rex, but T-Rex comes forward again with a few uppercuts of his own. Oh, nice little one-two combination there by Dylan. But Look at that. T-Rex claps his gloves together and walks forward. As if to suggest, bring it. Bring They're it loving on. it. You know, yeah. no fear from these boys. And I guess that's what we want to see. This is absolute showstopper of a card in oh, the fight nice tonight. nice little step back counter there by um, Dylan Archer. See T-Rex still just coming forward. Starting to walk on shots now though. Ooh. Beautiful body there from T-Rex. And he just comes back with his own and then Another T Rex one. Eats a shot there from Dylan Archer though. This is some tip to tap right here. Look at that. They're both putting scores on doors. Risking it for the biscuit. <laughs> Who's going to take them? I can't even call this round. This is absolutely ridiculous the amount of shots these boys are throwing at each other. How can you score it? Right, exactly. It's going to come down to the, you know, right down to the wire. You know, I, I talked about myself getting carried out on a stretcher. I think the judges are going to have to be carried out on a stretcher <laughs> tonight after this, this card. Wow, yeah. Vasco as well. He's screaming like a maniac in the corner. Oh, beautiful body shot there from T-Rex. Nice right. Beautiful shots either way. Oh, oh, eight one on the chin. Good angles yes. there by Dylan Archer. Just finishing up. Look at, look at Dylan Archer's face. So a few, few little scrapes yeah, across yeah, the yeah, arm. Yeah. Trying to see the damage on T-Rex. Nothing at all. This is going to be a tough, tough fight to call. I mean, you know, both fighters are landing good shots. They're having their own moments. Both having their moments. But it's all going to come down to what judges, you know, what they're looking for. I mean, you see T-Rex is always on the front foot. You see Dylan always finding new angles. You know, are they are they looking for the more, more the the uh, ring craft uh, from Dylan, why they're looking more the the aggressive come forward ring well, control. That's what we've seen tonight, and we've seen the judges slightly swing in favour of the aggression. Even though the Dylan has landed those cleaner shots, the judges are loving the aggression tonight, and that's something that is certainly yeah. still it's almost compulsory if you train at red red line. Yeah, exactly. We, we spoke about it earlier. They breed a different kind of uh, fighter there. And that, that's, hey, that's what we see here with these styles tonight in certain gyms. And one trait that Redline has tonight is aggression, grit, and an absolute savage, devastating style. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, T-Rex throwing again, but Dylan Archer is giving him a bit back. Oh, T-Rex definitely staying this round a little bit stronger than the last two. You know, you said you did some rounds with Dylan Archer, but would you like to do some rounds with T-Rex, Shay? Oh, man. Not the way they're performing <laughs> today. He, they're on something else today. Shredded to the nines. Both landing shots, bodies, heads. 
Dylan smiles there to say, hey, you landed, but it, it's not really hurting. Take this. Looks like T-Rex tired just a little bit from all their work in the first half of the round. But he, as soon as I say that, he comes straight back with a combination of his own. He's starting to work that jab, trying to keep Dylan out. You know, usually with uh, heavily muscled guys, we see them run out of gas early, but these guys are, are still going, I don't know where the gas, they're using reserves now, but they're still going forward. Oh, Dylan Archer throwing a nice combo there, right, Good steps right back. Like angle. You've got to love that, right? You've got to love that when it, oh, beautiful Nice angles. head movement. And they, they moves like this, this is what steals oh. you. This, this is what steals you the round for, for Dylan. I mean, he, and this um, could be T-Rex started the round very strong. The kryptonite. Now. This is the kryptonite with a chink in T-Rex's armor. Move those angles, throw angles, those uppercuts. Angles. And he's done it again. Beautiful. Beautiful oh. display of skills here by Dylan Archer. Beautiful finish here from Dylan. What a finish to the fight. How are we going to see another split? You, know, you saw the hard work I, there from T-Rex all the way I would not be through. surprised, uh, Isaac. There's definitely a hard one to call, and it's definitely subjective as to what the um, judges prefer. And like you said, they, they have been preferring the, the come forward fighter, the front foot fighter. That's been T-Rex the whole way, but just as I you know I alluded to in their last round, he started it strong. But personally, I, I, I like the you know the ring generalship, the angles, um, the counters from, from Dylan. So you know, there's something else to take into account as well. If only Dylan had drawn, or, you know, he, he was almost like a Mayweather. He, he analysed what T-Rex style was and then started computing it and putting it to use in the third round. Yeah. If only he'd started doing that a little bit earlier, maybe end of round <laughs> one or two. Well, that's, that's the thing with um, corporate bouts as well. You know, you got two, uh, three two-minute rounds. It's not that much. Exactly, yeah. I think she said a great deal that. Will we find a unanimous decision winner? Well, wow, there you go. Dylan certainly looking a little bit worse for wear. However, comes away with the win. It was, a good, fight. It was a good fight from both um, both fighters. Both turned up to fight and both gave it all, all the way to the final bell. We did allude to. Um, um, Dylan finishing very strong in their last round.